What's going on, everyone? My name is Joaquin Elizondo, and I'm a film and television editor. I'm also the founder of HollywoodEditingMentor.com, which is a mentoring program that strives to help aspiring and seasoned editors with achieving their career goals. And I'm very happy to be partnering up with Pro Sound Effects today to bring you this guide to sound effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. As video editors, we're not just responsible for the visuals of a project, we are also in charge of doing our own sound design at times. So today I'm gonna to walk you through that process using Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna take it back from the very beginning. Uh, when we start thinking about what sound effects we might wanna use when we read a script or an outline, then we're gonna go off and, and search and find those sound effects, then import them and organize them in our Adobe Premiere Pro project. And eventually, we're gonna sound design a scene, we're gonna place sound effects in a timeline, we're gonna adjust audio levels and apply some audio effects. So let's jump on in here to Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna be using the short film Overtime today, which is provided to us by our good friends over at Edit Stock. And Overtime is about a guy that gets asked to work overtime, but no one knows that he turns into a werewolf at night. And so he can't stay at the office too late or else bad things will start to happen. So let's check out a scene here from the short film Overtime. So there it is guys, overtime. And so now we're gonna take a quick look at the script for this short film to start getting ideas about what sound effects uh, we might need. And so let's jump on over to the script for overtime. Um, and, and this section of the script, you know, goes with the section of the film that we just watched. So as you can see, it takes place uh, at night in the city. Uh, first line reads, the headlights of urban traffic was passed. So, you know, we're going to need some traffic sounds. You keep on going. More traffic. Traffic whizzes by. Uh, Ralph's hands contort like rich claws. We might need some sounds for that. Uh, let's see. A dog on the street barks. So we, we're going to need some barking sounds. A car full of screaming kids. Uh, he shakes his head and screams. So, you know, already we can start getting an idea of uh, not only what this film is going to look like, but what it's going to sound like. And so we can then move on to, say, start collecting sound effects even before we start our project. So let's jump back over to um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's take a look here at the project windows. You can see there's a bunch of bins for all the items that I used to edit this film. For example, at the top, I have a bin for all my sequences. I have something here for uh, rushes or dailies, depending what part of the world you're in. Uh, something for graphics, score, and then of course, sound effects. So at the moment, uh, there's nothing in there. We're gonna start building uh, this sound effects bin with all the, the files that we're gonna be using to do the sound design for this short film. So let me show you though what I like to use to look for sound effects. So this is what I'm talking about, my friends. This is SoundCube, which is a desktop app created by Pro Sound Effects. And I just love using SoundCube because it just makes it so easy to search and find high quality sound effects. And it sure beats, say, using Finder or Explorer to search through your own personal sound library or say, going on a website, you know, searching for sound effects, which can be very time consuming, frustrating, and in the end, you don't, you don't find what you really need. But SoundQ changes all that. And better yet, you can manipulate sound effect files within the app and send files from the SoundQ app directly to your Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. Yeah, it's great. So let me show you how SoundQ works. There's a free tier where you can get in-app access to freesound.org, which makes it super easy to search for free sounds. You can also subscribe to get access to the SoundQ cloud library with award-winning quality sounds. So make sure to check the link in the description for more info. So we're going to look for uh, some traffic sound effects because that's what our short film was uh, calling for. So 
I'm going to search for some wolf sounds now because we are dealing with a werewolf in this film. Yeah, those are all great. So as you can see, it's just very easy to search for sound effects using SoundCue. And now I'm going to show you uh, how you can actually manipulate the sound files within the app and then how we get them from SoundCue over to our Adobe Premiere Pro project. So it's very easy to manipulate sound effect files within SoundCue. For example, you can select just a region of a file that you'd like to import. You can add uh, fades to your file. Just do this. You can also change the speed of the file. Another cool feature is that you can send sound effect files directly from the SoundCue app to your Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. So let's jump back into uh, SoundCue here. I'm just going to play this file real quick. Some medium traffic sounds. So let's say I want to use that uh, file and I want to send it to my Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. I can just go down here and select to send it to my Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. I can then just hit this uh, green button, but better yet, I can just hit the S key on my keyboard. And there it is. I'll solo this track. And there's my file. It went directly from SoundCue to my Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. Very easy, right? And there are other options to import your files. You can select to drag and drop your sound effects from SoundCue directly onto your desktop or any other folder on your computer or directly to Adobe Premiere Pro. Or you can also save your files from SoundCue onto a folder on your hard drive. So there you go, guys. A quick look at SoundCue. Like I said, I've really been enjoying using it on several of my projects. This makes it really easy to search and find uh, sound effects and also very simple to get uh, all the sound effects from SoundCue over to your Adobe Premiere Pro project. So make sure to check out SoundCue from Pro Sound Effects. All the links and info are in the description. All right, so we're gonna jump back into our project here in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're gonna keep talking about project organization. Earlier I had mentioned creating a bin for our sound effects uh, in our project. And so now we're gonna dive deeper into that bin and create sub bins for all the different categories of sound effects that we're gonna be bringing in. So for example, I was looking for wool sounds, right? So I'm gonna create a new bin here. And I'm actually gonna title it Animals. Because I'm going to be not only looking for, say, wolf sounds, I'm going to be looking for all types of animal growls, right? So I'm just going to make a general kind of category there for animals. Um, we we're also looking at um, traffic sounds, so we'll do that. And so eventually, our sound effects bin will look like this. As you can see, there's just uh, bins for all the different categories of sound effects that we're going to be using and that we imported. Um, and it just makes it very easy to find uh, what I'm looking for, right? If, for example, if I'm looking for animal sounds, I can just go to my animals bin, go in there, uh, my office uh, sounds are in there. If I want some traffic sounds, I'll go in there as well. And so, again, it's just, it's very clean, very organized. And this also forces me to only bring in the sound effect files that I need, right? Uh, so also then, I'll show you here, like what, um, if I did have everything, say, in one bin, as you can see, it's just very, very messy, right? It's just, uh, very overwhelming. I don't even know where to look. Um, you know, there's like bins within bins. And so this uh, will, you know, very likely cause me to lose a lot of time just searching for sound effects and uh, probably frustrate me a little. And so I just prefer to create uh, bins for all of the uh, different categories of sound effects that I will be using. All right, so now we're gonna move on to actually placing sound effects in our timeline. We're gonna take a look at the sound design of a different scene of overtime, and we're gonna actually dissect it, see uh, where and why uh, sound effects were placed in, 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 in different parts of that scene. And then we're also gonna take a look at setting the appropriate audio levels for our mix and also applying audio effects to our sound effects. So let's jump back in here to a different scene of overtime. I'm going to play you that scene now without any score, without any sound effects, just production sound, uh, what was captured on set. So check it out.
Simon. Ralph. It's, it's missing something. Uh, you know, like I said earlier uh, in this video, uh, you know, 50% of the movie going experience uh, is sound, and it's just not the same without score and, and sound effects, right? So we need to bring this to life. We'll start up here with this uh, pen slash. Uh, something as simple as that, right? I mean, you would think, okay, well, it's just uh, this file of literally pen crossing out something on paper, uh, but it was layered here. I mean, we, we'll kind of dissect this. There's uh, some eerie wind noise there. And then at the bottom, that actually is uh, zombie flesh bites, right? And so it's it's a good uh, uh, point now to 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 mention uh, that you know to not think so literal about sound, right? I mean. Uh, you know, we, we're not necessarily looking here for maybe uh, anything on paper or pen writing on paper. It's like, okay, let's just take a look at, uh, you know, zombie, zombies eating flesh, sounds of zombies eating flesh, you know? Uh, so basically to add some, uh, some depth, some layering, some texture uh, to this, this, this section, right? And the same over here. As you can see here at the bottom, I mean, I think it sounds kind of something like liquidy, right? It says, it's, again, saw me eating flesh. Uh, so, uh, keep going here. I have more slashes there. That's just, just straight up, you know, watch sound. There you go, right? Now it brought the scene to life, right? I mean, it, and it wasn't a whole lot, um, but you know, obviously, with the help of, of sound effects and score, um, again, it just brings the scene to to life. Uh, we're gonna now continue with uh, looking at the uh, mixers uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, talking about setting levels and 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 also applying effects to uh, sound effects. All right, so we're gonna jump back into Adobe Premiere Pro now. We're looking at the audio panel, and we're obviously now has a slightly different look. We're seeing a mixer here, one of the mixers, and it's the audio track mixer. And what uh, these faders do, they control the volume of the an entire track. So for example, in this case, audio track six, this fader controls the volume of that whole track. And then we jump over here to the audio clip mixer. Uh, this, this, uh, mixer uh, is now used to control the volume of the individual clips. So, for example, if I click on this clip that you're seeing here, that's you know audio channel one, uh, that would be here, and that only controls this this fader controls this, the volume for that specific clip. Same goes for 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 the, for panning. And so, it's very easy to set levels here uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're going to jump back in to our short film overtime. I'm just gonna play the section again. Simon, I really have to get home. Yeah, sorry, pal. Tax department. Pack of dogs they are. It's bad, Simon. No worries, Simon. So what you're hearing that office background, just too too high up in the mix. Uh, I need to bring it down. It just needs to be subtle. You know, it's it's the end of the day. It's not a, a busy office. People have gone home. So we just want to kind of barely hear that people are still there, right? Uh, and so we can what we can do is is just you know we're looking here at the this clip here on uh, on track 16. Come over here to the clip mixer, with, which will just uh, adjust uh, the volume of that specific clip. And then we just bring it down, right? And then we actually do it in real time. We play it. Sorry, pal. Tax department. Pack of dogs they are. It's bad, Simon. No worries, Simon. So there you go. I mean, very easy, very simple. All right, so now we are in our effects panel here in Adobe Premiere Pro. 
just gonna play you this little uh, section here real quick. Got a cool, uh, you know, wolf howl sound there. And so if we go over to this window, we can open up the, the, the audio effects folder. A lot of options are cool, cool effects to choose from. We're just gonna, uh, we're select here a pitch shifter and just apply it directly uh, onto that clip. And uh, if we open it up, we can see here some, uh, if you click on edit, we can then now, um, you know, change the settings on this uh, audio effect. And there's some great presets already that come with this. So we'll just select one of them, Angry Gerbil. Uh, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, if we want to kind of change this to pitch uh, on that uh, clip, you can do that. And so there's other really cool stuff that you can use, and it's as simple as that, just uh, dragging them onto your clip and then and then clicking uh, the, the edit button. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, presets that already come with Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can start there and then start tinkering uh, with uh, these other settings. So there you go, guys, a guide to using sound effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Pretty simple, right? It's very easy to import your files, place them in the timeline, adjust your audio levels, and then apply some cool audio effects. And don't forget how easy it is to search for sound effects using SoundCube. My name is Joaquin Elizondo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment to let us know your thoughts and what topics you'd like to see pro sound effects cover next.